Hello guys, welcome to another session of learning with prep class. I am your tutor, Adenu. In this video, I will be solving questions 36 to 40 from our 23rd edition in the Sugo quantitative questions. After this video, you will have gained understanding on how to carefully select the correct answers when solving questions with quantitative. It's usually fun having you guys around, and I know this video would be an awesome session. Do not forget to like or subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can go the extra mile of leaving a comment so we can communicate for effective learning. Without further ado, let's zoom in. Here we have three samples which will guide us on how to solve questions 36 to 40. First, we will try out how these answers came about and we will gain an understanding which will guide us in solving the rest of the questions. Let's try them out. So, I would say 18 divided by 6 will give me 3. 3 times 4 will give me 12. 12 times 6 should give me 72, but there's 2 was written here. So I can assume this method is correct, knowing fully well that it ought to be 72 and not 32. Let's try others out and see what it should be. So I would also say 27 divided by 9 will give me 3. 3 times 2 will give me 6. 9 times 6 will give me 54. So that ought to be the correct answer. So 72 is the answer that ought to be here. Let's try this one out as well. 25 divided by 2 will give me 12 and a half. 12 and a half times 4 will give me 50. Because 12 and a half in four places. If you add 2 to your it will give you 25. If you add the remaining 2 to your phone it will also give you 25. 25 plus 25 will give you 50. So 12 and a half times 4 will give you 50. And 50 times 2 will give you 100. So this is the exact method you should use in solving questions 36 to 40. Let's move straight up in solving the questions. Now, question 36. Here is our question. Let's see how best to get it done. So, we need to find out the answer that should be here. Let's assume that answer to be x. So, 20 divided by x will give us an answer also we don't know. Because we don't know x, we don't know the answer it will give us. So, now, we also know that um, that answer, which we assume to be y, times 3 will give us 12. That's why we said y times 3 equal to 12. So y times 3 is 3y. 3y equal to 12. How do we solve such an equation? We are going to divide both sides by 3 so we can have the value of y. So 3y over 3, 12 over 3. 3 cancel 3 will give us y. 12 over 3 will give us 4. So we have the value of y to be 4. Now remember we said 20 divided by x will give us y, which we now know to be 4. So we now write it as this. So 20 divided by x can be written as 20 over x equal to 4. So since this is a fraction, we we'll write this 4 in form of a fraction. 4 in form of a fraction is 4 over 1, because 4 divided by 1 is still 4. Then how do we go about this? We cross multiply x times 4, 20 times 1 x times 4 will give us 4x equal to 20. How do we solve this? We said 4x over 4, 20 over 4, to find the value of x. And if you do that, 4 will cancel 4, 20 will cancel 4, to give us 5, and that will give us x equal to 5. So if we say our correct answer is 5, it means 20 divided by 5 will give us 4. 4 times 3 will give us 12. 12 times 5 will give us 60. So our correct answer is 5. Let's check it out. Question 36, option C, 5 is our correct answer. Let's look at the next question. Question 37. So we've been asked to fill up this box. Let's see how to go about it. So we'll would say 6 over 2 will give us our answer, which is 1 over 3. Then 1 over 3 times this value here should give us 12. But we don't know what the value here is, so let's call it y. You can see 
box equal to y. So 1 over 3 times y equal to 12. And that will give us y over 3 equal to 12. Since this is a fraction, I'll write this as a fraction. 12 as a fraction is 12 over 1, because 12 divided by 1 is 12. So I'll cross multiply. y times 1 will give me y. 12 times 3 will give me 36. So I'm saying the answer here ought to be 36. That means 2 divided by 6 will give me 1 over 3. And 1 over 3 times 36 will give me 12. 1 over 3 times 36. 3 here, 1. 3 here, 1. 3 here, 2, which is 12. Our answer is 12. So 36 is, the, is here because 2 divided by 6 is 1 over 3. 1 over 3 times 36 will give us 12. Our correct answer is 36. Question 37, option A, 36 is our correct answer. Now, question 38. When I tried looking up this, I saw that um, this question is actually a wrong question because it didn't give us any answer in the option. So I saved us the stress of solving it only to realize that there's no answer in the option. And the answers are just ridiculous because it was not fitting into the sequence or the method in which we established. So you can see it is the red flag question and it is an error question. So we will not be trying this out. Okay, you can also try it out on, at your end and see if you get any of the answers. We learn every day. All right, let's move to question 39. Question 39. Now, we have been asked to fill this empty space. So how do we go about this? Let's check it out. We'll say 11 over 22, which will give us 1 over 2. 1 over 2 times 6, 6 times 1 over 2, 2 here 1, 2 here 3, which will give us 3. Now, 3 times 22 will give us 66. So our correct answer would be 3. 11 divided by 22 is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 times 6 is 3. And if it is 3, 3 times 22 will give us 66. Question 39, option C, 3 is our correct answer. Let's look at the next question. Question 40, we've been asked to fill this empty box. So let's see how to go about it. So we're going to say let this box be equal to x. And we know x over 12 will give us an answer which we know not, which is equal to y. So we don't know these answers. That was why we replace them with alphabets, which we call variables in mathematics, because they are not constant. They vary. So we replace them with alphabets. So x over 12 will give us y. We don't know what y and x are. So we also know that the answer, which is y, which is gotten from x over 12 times 24, will give us 4. y times 24 is equal to 4. So y times 24 is the same thing as 24y. So 24y is equal to 4. So how do we solve this? We divide both sides by 24. 24y over 24, y over 24. 24 will cancel out 24 to give us y. Then 4 over 24 will give us 6. 4 here 1, 4 here 6. 1 over 6. y is equal to 1 over 6. If our y is equal to 1 over 6, it means x, which this empty space here over 12, will give us equal to 1 over 6. What do we do next? We cross multiply. x times 6 will give us 6x. 12 times 1 will give us 12. So 6x is equal to 12. How do we go about this? We divide both sides by 6. 6x over 6, 12 over 6. 6 will cancel 6 to give us x. 6 here 1, 6 and 12, 2. So we are saying our answer here ought to be 2. So 2 over 12 is 1 over 6. 2 over 12 is 1 over 6. And 1 over 6 times 24 is equal to 4. 2 here 1, 2 here 6, 1 over 6. So 2 over 12, 1 over 6. 1 over 6 times 24 is equal to 4. 6 here 1. 6 and 24, 4. So the correct answer here would be 2. Let's check it out. Question 40, option E is equal to 2. All right. 
This is how much we can take in this video. I hope we had fun. I'm also using this timeout to ask us to join our WhatsApp group using the link below so we can get updates about videos to come and also comment on the previous videos we have seen. It was fun having you guys around. So I come your way next time. Bye.